over two years. Two years in the waiting. Oh, I went to the wrong building. Let's try again. Well, I'm not doing the approach trail, but uh, let me touch the arch. Surreal. Yeah, there's the approach trail that I'm not doing. And the building I'm supposed to sign in is over here, apparently. I... Well, at least I get to see the arch. Ron's shuttle is waiting for me. He's got another pickup that's driving with us to the uh, Springer Mountain. So we asked for privacy. So, you know, I'll go get on it. Start down here so I can appreciate New Hampshire more. Oh yeah. That's my there we go. Ron from Ron Shuttles, thank you very much. Great dog, you mind? You wanna get in? There you Great go. Great dog, my new buddy. A subscriber. Now I'm gonna be starting with him at least. <laughs> thank you. There we go. Hey, here's my newest invention. So I just got dropped off and I'm hiking up to Springer Mountain, so I'm actually going south first. Um to go to the Springer Mountain Monument, the uh, terminus of the uh, Appalachian Trail where I'll sign the log books. So I got a 400 foot climb here. It's a good warm up. It is chilly and uh, has me thinking I shouldn't have packed all my warm clothes so far to the bottom of the pack. But I'm warming up and I hope uh, I'll, I'll catch up with you at the uh, terminus. Tears, guys. Tears. Nice. Summited in uh, negative 15 degrees. Um, if you can handle that, you can handle this, right? About to sign in here. All right. All right. Are these logs all Finally quieted down. There was quite a crowd getting to the top of Springer Mountain in the terminus. It was nice, ran into a couple famous hikers, Guru Hikes, Grey Dog, Scotsman. Um, Grey Dog even recognized that I had a YouTube channel. I, I drove in with him on the shuttle and uh, it, it occurred to him as we were getting out that he uh, had been following me. That was interesting. But it, uh, it's kind of peaceful now, which I like. I'm kind of trying to take it all in finally. I'm already lost. Scotsman tells me this is Three Forks Creek. Oh, there's a guy fly fishing even. Beautiful. Howdy. Any luck? No. <laughs> That's all right. No better way. the morning of day two 
was pretty warm all night, but it's colder in the morning now. I wonder if it's because I'm empty of uh, food in my belly. Feels damp and cold. Went to bed at like 7.30 or 8 because everybody everybody turns in and hybrid. most people were in their tents by like, felt like 6.37. So I tossed and turned and thought it was like 2 in the morning and reached into my pocket and for my phone. I guess you keep your batteries in your phones and your, and your uh, headlamps on your body at night so they don't get cold. They say the batteries die down, so I try, I guess, I don't know. Makes sense. Uh, couldn't post, couldn't text anybody, couldn't check the trail, well I could check the trail because I got, got hooks on GPS. Couldn't drink, couldn't smoke a cigarette. Uh, um, yeah, so now I gotta, so I had a big disaster last night, a crisis. I got to camp and my Sawyer filter was, I only used it once on a fall day. And I, it was in my house ever since. I drained it, shook it dry, and I went to go filter some water and barely got any flow. Tried like tried to get help from a gray dog to back flush it. And he agreed that something was hosed with it. And so he f filtered water for me. Um, fortunately it didn't freeze I was able to cook dinner and I, I made myself eat um, I gotta get up and face the day and they gotta they gotta hold my hand to Neil's gap where I can hopefully buy a new filter I don't know what's going on um, I don't know if it, you're not supposed to use them and they dry out anyway I was up all night mostly panicking I was relatively comfortable I'm warm, so that was okay. For, I don't know what I would have done if it would have rained. I don't know. I don't see me doing this for more than a couple of nights. <laughs> no joke. Get the fire up the fucking jet plane. All right. I can't. I can't be posting a long video. So uh, this is the beginning of day two. Um, talk to you soon. Good morning. Day two. Good morning, day two. I don't have much more to say other than it's nicer walking than it is camping, in my opinion. I could walk all day. As I mentioned this morning, uh, I gotta catch up with Gray Dog because he's a little older than me and he wanted to get a head start and I was still setting up camp like an OCD mother. And, uh, He's my filter god, filter trail magic guy for the next day or two until I get my Sawyer replaced. Anybody have any advice on why that Sawyer filter failed after barely using it? It didn't freeze. I don't know if it's not supposed to dry up once you use it. Anyway, day two, it's beautiful and sunny. I got lucky and started on a nice day, so I don't have to, nice couple days, so I don't have to deal with rain. But uh, I'm just gonna take in the views. Just uh, went up Sassafras and back down. I gotta say the climb, the climb was a good workout, but uh, I felt good climbing. But going down is, and I experienced this in the whites and going downhill. My knees do not like it. Um, I probably didn't uh, exercise that motion enough. Uh, so just came off of Sassafras. I ate some raw, ate some tuna out of a. A bag with a tube of mayonnaise trying to wash my spoon and everything so it doesn't smell like fish and mayo for, and all the bears and stuff and uh, headed to Gooch Mountain Shelter tonight and uh, I'm still hanging close to uh, Grey Dog and Scotsman Man, it's windy today at least it's not raining I'm trying to stay positive here, man. It's only two days. I'm too OCD for this. <laughs>